Hey guys, it's Larry out here on the Oregon coast. It's June 22nd, and I'm gonna do a uh, little update on my uh, mini aquaponics setup. A little noisy in here, but uh, I'm gonna tell you what happened here. All this stuff here, I started in March, very beginning of March. So, uh, going really slow. And uh, the idea I came up with, uh, my pH has always been run right, running right around seven. And uh, this year I started some seeds in rock wool and water and uh, the guy at the hydro store told me to add a couple drops of uh, lemon juice or lime juice and uh, that will lower the pH and uh, that will help, help get your seeds that's started. The stuff. And then I got this great idea, well uh, it worked so well for hydroponics, uh, why don't I try an aquaponics setup so I ended up adding uh, some of this stuff into the water here two or three times and I ended up getting the pH get down to uh, 6.5 I'm like man that's pretty cool and then all of a sudden uh, everything just stopped growing I mean it just froze I'm like what the heck is going on so I threw in some more seeds in the beds nothing would start I'm like all right what would I do so I ended up talking to a couple of buddies they're uh, they got a lot uh, a lot of experience in aquaponics and I told them what what I did and they go oh and they both end up telling me that was that uh, that citrus that you add to the water it's basically a, a cleaner so all that beneficial bacteria that uh, I spent months and months and months uh, building up I just uh, wiped it all out but basically I cleaned my aquaponics bed not what you want to do well there wasn't a whole lot I could really do I ended up uh, dumping the water out of the tank and um, I ran some clean water through here and uh, basically I just had to ride it out basically I just had to completely recycle my system again so it's been over uh, been a little over three months and it's finally starting to get going again but uh, just chalk that up as a learned lesson not much uh, you can really do about it but uh, oh well but everything's starting to pick up again and get some seeds started and I also got a couple of clips here I'm gonna sneak in here my kids uh, pick some strawberries out of here and uh, they love seeing themselves on YouTube so that's Shoo. pretty cool You want that one? Yeah. Oh, it's two, Dan. We two. You want two? Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Hey, hey, careful. Whoa. What? I wanted to show you guys something that I uh, came up with. Uh, I was having a little bit of splash with my uh, last drain pipe, and uh, so I came up. So I extended the drain pipe and I cut it at a 45, and I put the tip there, right on the edge of the water. So uh, it seems to be working pretty good. I get a lot less splash, and. Uh, it's an easy way for me to, to tell uh, if I'm losing water or how much water I'm using daily. So I always try to keep the water right at the tip of the pipe there. All right, just getting ready to start going here. So very little splash, hardly any at all. It's still getting some good aeration as as the as the water there. Not bad, I thought it was a pretty good idea and it seems to be working out pretty good. Well other than the, than the very little to no growth, uh, the fish are doing good. I actually got a little koi floating around in there. and uh, So I haven't had any fish deaths in quite a while. But uh, I'm thinking uh, in a few weeks I should be rocking and rolling. So hopefully everybody's having a good summer and uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.